Ready to go? I am getting ready to go to China Date Ranch. It's in Tacopa, California. It's like an hour and 45 minutes away from Vegas. So Dakota and I, she's actually back there. Uh, Dakota, my dog. I don't even know if I've ever mentioned that on my channel before. Uh, but yeah, Dakota is the name of my dog. She is a Doberman Pinscher. We're getting ready to go to, to, to the uh, China Date Ranch. It's um this... A little like ranch in the middle of like I don't know to me it looks like the middle of nowhere I just barely heard about it uh, I believe it was like on TikTok or something and like it's it's apparently like, a really good day trip from Vegas there's some trails there and they have a, a couple on um, there's they range from like easy to to hard according to their website it's like a little family owned farm apparently like there's no entrance fee but there is like a little food court area where they sell date products i people say that you have to try the date shake so that's what i'm gonna try and they have like a little gift shop you could buy dates there they even sell like the date palm like where the dates come from i'm pretty interested to see how it is so i'm gonna go ahead and uh take you guys along with me it, it should be fun i'm really excited uh this is like the first time i ever heard about this place trust me i've looked up so many day trips from vegas the china date farm was never anything that i saw on any of the lists like they always list like valley of fire the grand canyon zion there's no publicity that i've seen so far from this place until now I'm pretty excited about it. I hope it's a good time. Let's get going. Okay guys, we're here at the China Ranch Date Farm. I don't know, it's a little confusing. There's not a lot of signage here. Please do not drive into the date or orchard. Our products are available in store. Please do not steal food from the field. Thank you. Diary from Iraq. Okay. That's cool. Let's walk through the orchard then. I guess this is what they used to pick the dates. I haven't seen any on the trees though. Oh, I see them now. I think, yeah, I think those are it right there. Wow. Oh, a better look. That's really cool. Oh, look. There are some right there. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear all the birds. It's really nice and peaceful here. But I haven't seen anybody walk through here yet. Okay, so the drive down here was pretty peaceful. There wasn't a lot of people on the road, but... Oh my god, what is she doing? Okay, come on, leave it. Let's go. There wasn't a lot of people, but it was kind of boring. And it felt a lot longer than like an hour and 45 minutes. I'm not looking forward to the drive back, but... It is what it is. Yeah, we're just gonna keep exploring. I'm gonna walk some more. We're out of the orchard. I wanna explore more that way. Uh, but this seems to be like the little residential area, probably where the people that own this live in. And this little shack is pretty interesting. I think that's the stove. This is like one of the, it's called the China Ranch Treadle. So this is three miles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it all. I thought there was more um, trails, but I wonder if maybe 
this kind of like splits off, I think. You can kind of hear water here. Oh look, there you go. It's like a little shaded area. We're gonna walk this a little bit. We'll see what we do. But look at this, now we're out of this shaded area and we're coming up to this like little view here. Supposedly there's some slot canyons here. We'll see if we even get to them. I'm not sure how deep they are. It's, it's fairly warm. Uh, we do have some water but not too much and we haven't eaten anything uh, since breakfast and it's already three o'clock but in the beginning there's a lot of shade but right now we're like fairly exposed looks to be a um a car or it used to be a car it's pretty full there's another one over there there's another piece of a car over there like just metal scraps everywhere it's pretty cool let me get a little bit closer to that there's um bullet holes all over it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so this kind of tells you where we're going. So Willow Creek Rare Ecosystem. That's where we are here now. I think I, I think I'm gonna go down that road, but there we are. 1903 building mining in the region. Oh, that looks cool. Movement, movement in the desert. Trails, roads, rails. Okay, so I think see that's one mile right there. I think we'll go up to here, I think. I think we'll be able to do it. But let's go down this side now. Wait, don't go down there. She likes going into like the little creeks. That's cool. It smells really bad though. It smells like sewage. Um, so. Yeah, I really don't want her to go down there and try to drink that water. Yeah, it smells really bad. Let's go back up and head towards, I guess, the slot canyons is our end goal right now, and then we'll come right back. Oh no, leave it, leave it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna knock it down. And like some kind of transformer on top. It's pretty cute. Oh gosh, it's getting, it's getting tired. It's really hot. We have to take it slow here. Hopefully we don't run out of water. I always bring extra water and I never end up needing it. And now that I don't, I do end up needing it. It's getting really hot. We've gone 0.49 miles, so basically half a mile. We should be getting to, I think they said there was like some kind of like old house. I'll have to see how Dakota does to see if we could make it to the slot canyons. It's really hard when it gets warmer with her to do hikes, just because she overheats too fast. I think it's because of her black fur. She just, you know, gets heat or collects heat, or no, not collect, but like, um, like, oh man, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Man, oh, I think I see like the old ruins now of the house. This is 
is an old building from the mining region, it says from 1903. And that little shack that I had gone to, hold on, let me show you. That little hut right there, I don't know what that is. Um, there's like a chimney coming out of it, so I wonder if it's used for like cooking or something, or I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. Um, it's just my, my guess. Does anybody know what these are called? They're like little, like somebody made these and just like sticks them somewhere random. It's so weird. So we're rarely at the second stop. Next is the movement in the desert, trail roads and rails. And then next is the gem in the desert, habitat restoration. restoration. So I just spoke to a couple that was ahead of me and they ended up turning back because their dog got tired. Uh, but they told me that they were able to see the slot canyons and they said that it didn't look too much f farther away. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's getting really hot here. And I really don't want, you know, her to like not be able to walk anymore. I mean, that's happened before where she's just like given up and she had to be carried out. Luckily, it was at a local trail. So I was able to call my dad and brother to help me carry her because she's pretty heavy. I tried carrying her, um, but it was, it's really hard. Uh, she's really, she's heavy, at least for me. She's like almost 70 pounds. So I was able to do like some, and then once I put her down, she like ran back to some shaded area. So it, it was all for nothing basically, cause she had gone back to like where we started at. Ever since then, I got this rescue harness for her. It was just a scary situation, but luckily I was really close to home and had service and was able to get help. It looks like that way is the slot canyons. You can see the little trail there, but yeah, this is where the movement in the desert trails, road, and rails is at. Um, I guess there's like trains that go through that went through here. There you go. We're gonna head back. It's too hot. Update: We made it back to the little house for some shade. She came directly to here right away. Um, but yeah, she's, she's very tired. It's so hot, we're gonna rest for some, maybe 10 minutes. I think that should be good. It, it, it's very hot. I saw some people going towards the slot canyons with their dogs. Don't know how they're doing that. Okay, so we made it back. Well, not yet, but we made it back to like at least the shaded area. And I can already hear some cars. So I know we're pretty close to the trailhead and hopefully their food stand is still open so I can get the date shake. So we're back at the car. We ended up doing that it's a China Ranch Trail. We only ended up going in a mile deep. We went to the part where it diverts to go to the slot canyons. It was just way too hot for Dakota and I was getting scared that she might have a heat stroke. So we ended up going back and we luckily made it just in time. They closed at five and we got there like around four 30 to the food court the little shop i wasn't able to go inside the shop but i was able to order at the window i got a date milkshake with chocolate syrup and then a chocolate date loaf and then i finally also found the trail that i wanted to do that i had looked up ahead i wanted to do the mesa trail but i couldn't i couldn't see it anywhere until like I was coming back to my car and then I saw like a little sign hidden where it said Mesa Trail and it had like an arrow. Now I know for the future, it is a really nice little farm. The people here are really nice and I do recommend you come here. Maybe don't come here when it's hot. Like currently right now it says it's 73 degrees, but when we were out on the trail, like it felt more like 80. It felt really hot. And what kind of sucks is that between the road here and towards like the blue diamond area there's like no services so if you need gas make sure you put in gas before you leave there's like no services if you're coming from vegas there's no restrooms 
in between either so you do have to you know make sure you prepare for all of that bring extra water and bring snacks i still have my snacks i ended up packing <laughs> this is so funny i ended up packing a little little lunch bag i have some snacks in here it's me and dakota can split that luckily i felt so bad for her she was like barking at me when i was eating my date shake and eating some of the bread she was barking at me to give her some but they all had chocolate and i didn't think ahead of time like oh maybe i should get something without chocolate in it so i could give her some and yeah like i just felt so bad so we're gonna head home now i hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you didn't you could dislike it i guess hopefully you don't and please subscribe I have a lot more videos that I plan on posting and I have a lot more ideas and hopefully you guys like those too. But for now, we're just gonna end it right here. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I don't, I don't, what does that even mean? I don't know. Ah, I don't know how to end these.